trying my hardest to see it because these are fast and I will get one shot at grabbing it. I'm trying to decide if I can actually step outside this kayak. I really don't want to miss this. So we're out here today just taking a nice gentle kayak across this beautiful natural glacial lake here in northern Indiana. And I'm going to try to showcase some of the turtles that you're likely to see in this part of the country. There's a few common species you run into, especially in lakes and ponds like this. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a glimpse of all of them today. The dense vegetation and abundant invertebrate life in this lake make this great habitat for a diversity of turtle species, and the crystal clear waters makes them easy to spot as they plod along the bottom. So right up ahead we have a bunch of logs right up there, and I can see from here that we've got a nice stack of turtles up on top of them. And I say stack because the turtles actually do kind of stack on top of each other sometimes. But uh, it's been a little cooler lately, so turtles are probably spending even more time basking on these logs and it's a great way to see them. If you have binoculars or a camera with a nice zoom lens on it, you can view them from a distance and get great looks. Turtles are ectotherms, meaning they can't generate much internal body heat and have to bask in the sun to warm up. These painted turtles prefer the shallower, more vegetated margins of lakes and are even more abundant in smaller ponds and wetlands. Painted turtles have dark, smooth, somewhat flattened shells and red striped legs. Uniquely, the red stripes on their neck transition to yellow onto the head. In contrast, map turtles have yellow stripes on their legs, neck, and head, and their light brown shell has a raised ridge down the middle. Map turtles are also much more common throughout these large, deep natural lakes and in rivers. The largest turtles in these lakes are the snapping turtles. They aren't seen as often since they spend less time out basking and more time foraging along the lake bottom. Though the size of a large adult snapping turtle is distinctive, their incredibly long, alligator-like tails are an identifiable feature at any age. Turtles will often burrow into the dense cara algae that blankets the shallows here to escape from threats. little critter is a stink pot and I know that may not seem like a very flattering name for a turtle uh, but they earn it because they do have a bit of an odor they produce a bit of an odor they're in a group of turtles known as musk turtles stink pots have long pointed snouts and smooth domed shells and are quite small as adults they also have two distinctive yellow stripes running from the neck to the tip of the snout though these little turtles can be seen by day they become even more active at night as they plod along the lake bottom in search of small invertebrates and fish. So we have one of the most unique turtle species you're ever going to run into right here. These things have outfoxed me a few times this week no guarantees. They are amazing at digging in and blending into their environment. I'm trying my hardest to see it because these are fast and I will get one shot at grabbing it. I'm trying to decide if I can actually step outside this kayak. I really don't want to miss this. I'm going to back up here and try to put my foot in. I think this, this, the ground here is maybe a little harder. Let's do this. I said I'm gonna, oh, I see where it is. 
I see where it is. Shoot. Now this is a turtle who doesn't have quite the, oh, I see it, I see it. I see its head, I see it. Oh, got it. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna get caught up. This is one of the most unique turtles you're ever gonna see, and also one of the hardest to hold on to. Come on, there we go. Oh, now watch this. That neck is super long, so I've gotta be careful. This is a spiny soft shell. Look at that. Look at that. These are one of the coolest turtles. So soft shell, for obvious reasons, ooh, it's got this kind of dinner plate shape, size, and uh, uh, shell. Very floppy, very floppy, very soft. And spiny soft shell, because right, I'm not gonna do it. Right up there, uh, at the front of its shell, it has these little tubercles or spines. And there's a few other species in the genus that you can find in other parts of the country that um, don't have those tubercles. There's a smooth soft shell, and, um, and yeah, there you go. So this one's called spiny because of those tubercles. But this turtle is one of the most remarkably <laughs> bitey and aquatic turtles you're gonna find. The whole design of this turtle is built for an almost entirely aquatic lifestyle. It's flat so it can cut through the water, burrow under sand and loose mud, and be able to conceal itself very quickly. It's got a neck that if it wanted to, could reach out to about here. Incredibly long neck, there it showed you. And so what they'll do is they'll get into the shallows here, burrow down and stick that neck up and breathe out that snorkel-like nose, that snorkel-like snout. And so they're able to spend a lot of their day doing that. And then they have these very flipper-like feet here, if you can see it, very flipper-like, beautifully patterned feet. So these things, you know, you hear turtles are slow. These are not slow. These can cut through the water like lightning. They are super, super fast. You can actually see some pretty good claws on there, uh, on the end of those little flipper feet. And here's a look at the bottom of the shell, very pale bottom, little tail there. And, and as I said, this turtle doesn't have the reputation of a snapping turtle for giving you a really nasty bite, but that little mouth of its uh, can give you quite a nasty bite. And it has, uh, like all turtles, very strong jaw pressure. And unlike a lot of turtles, it has this insanely long neck. And it, look at that, it can reach so far. So this is not a turtle if you find a really big one that you want to mess with, uh, unless you're trying to move it off a road for its own safety, because you'll get surprised that they're hard to hold on to and they can really reach you with that neck. So I'm keeping my hands on the back half of the shell. One of my favorite turtles though, but because they're so incredibly fast, there's so often that you just don't even get a good look at them, let alone get to actually pick one up. If you find one on a road, you may have the opportunity to get a closer look. But like I said, do give it some space and be wary when you move it or help move it because they can reach you and they can give you a nice little snap. You are so cute though. Beautiful. So we don't want to hold on to this turtle any longer than we need to. I'm going to let this critter go on its way. Have a good day. Watch how fast this goes.